Lamborghini, the Italian supercar manufacturer, has announced its plans to electrify its entire range of cars by 2024. We could also be seeing the first ever high-performance hydrogen cell car. You need to check this out. Lamborghini has shown how serious they are with these plans. The company has invested $1.8 billion in hybrid and all-electric vehicles, with a goal of reducing product CO2 emissions by 50%. The first all-electric Lamborghini is expected to debut in the second half of the decade. They've invested heavily in research and development for electric and hybrid technologies, with CEO Stefan Winkelmann stating their goal to become the most desirable brand, even in a world with electrification. But the actual release date remains confidential. Even though EVs have stolen the show, you can be certain that hydrogen cell cars will be part of the future of automobiles. Do you know why? because EVs have a lot of challenges hydrogen cars can solve. I will explain how this works, but first let me introduce you to the Lamborghini concept, hydrogen supercar, the Lamborghini Idrogeno. Idrogeno means hydrogen in Italian, and this concept car is the unofficial concept of Lamborghini's hydrogen cell model. This project started way back in 2017, and we now have two concept designs for the Idrogeno. The first one was from the Lamborghini Idrogeno project, 2017. This was a project completed in collaboration with Lamborghini and the Scuola Politecnica di Design Milano. It envisioned a futuristic hydrogen-powered Lamborghini hypercar. While it was not an official project by Lamborghini itself, it was a creative exploration of what a potential, eco-friendly Lamborghini could look like. The design had sleek lines, aggressive angles, and a hexagonal fuel cell positioned behind the cockpit. It generated a lot of buzz, and showcase the potential for Lamborghini to explore alternative fuel sources in the future. But this is not where it ends. This project was revisited recently, and the design was upgraded. So what did they come up with? And is this a signal that Lamborghini is indeed planning a hydrogen supercar? Take a look at this. In 2020, independent artists Misha B. Engelbert Kurlej and Akshay Prakash created a more detailed hypercar concept, dubbed Lamborghini Hyperhydrogen. It took inspiration from the 2017 project and offered a more fleshed out vision of a hydrogen powered Lambo. This concept featured a bold aerodynamic design with a single seat cockpit and exposed wheels. It received further attention for its futuristic take on a sustainable Lamborghini. It's important to note that neither of these concepts has been confirmed for production by Lamborghini. However, they represent the growing interest in sustainable alternatives within the automotive industry, even for high-performance brands like Lamborghini. You can see how the design takes inspiration from the Lamborghini Aventador. This is Lamborghini's most iconic car, and many of their new concept models take inspiration from the design and performance of the Aventador. These cars will leave you stunned. Check these out. The Lamborghini Terzo Millenio, 2017, is one fine example of what Lamborghini has in stock. This concept car was unveiled in 2017, and they used it to show what their future supercars will look like. It was not all about looks. It was also about the technology and power source. The Terzo Millenio incorporated innovative technologies that make it fully electric. Forget clunky battery packs. The Terzo Millenio uses supercapacitors for energy storage, offering significantly faster charging and discharging times compared to traditional batteries. Imagine pulling into a charging station for just a few minutes and roaring back onto the road with full power. That is what Lamborghini wants to achieve. Inspired by nature, the Terzo Millenio's body panels contain microchannels filled with a special resin that can react to UV light and heal minor scratches and cracks automatically. No more costly paint jobs. The car essentially fixes itself. While primarily designed for thrilling driver experiences, the Terzo Millenio boasts an advanced AI system that can pilot the car autonomously on racetracks. Imagine learning the perfect lap from a virtual racing ghost controlled by the car itself. You can see how similar the Terzo Millenio is to the Lamborghini hyperhydrogen concept. We can be certain that the hydrogen-powered Lambo will possess a lot of features we see in the Millenio, but how will it compare to the Aventador? Let's find out. The design is locked down. We see similarities between the iconic Lambo scissor doors of the two cars and the sharp edges in the design. In terms of performance, the Lamborghini hyperhydrogen car must match the sharp handling of the Aventador and, of course, deliver on power. We are talking about an astounding 780 horsepower. 
acceleration cannot be lower than 2.8 seconds to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour. And remember that the Aventador has a top speed of 221 miles per hour. All these are just the baseline performance we can expect. It should actually be higher. So you see, the Lamborghini Hyper Hydrogen really has its work cut out for it. But has there been any hydrogen cell car that proves this concept will work? The results will surprise you. The most popular hydrogen cell car is the Toyota Mirai, which is a mid-size hydrogen fuel cell vehicle, FCV, manufactured by Toyota, and is the first FCV to be mass-produced and sold commercially. The car has a starting price of $49,500 and offers a fuel economy of 76 miles per gallon. This is far more efficient than conventional gasoline engine sedans from Toyota. The average gas engine Toyota has a fuel efficiency of 32 miles per gallon. So the hydrogen fuel cell indeed increases the efficiency of the Toyota model by double. This is amazing if Lamborghini can copy this same success. Lamborghini is a supercar, so you can expect that the fuel economy is terrible. Take the 2024 Lamborghini Huracan, for example. It can only go about 15 miles on a gallon of gasoline. This is very poor, and you see why the hydrogen fuel technology would be attractive to Lamborghini. The Mirai is powered by a fuel cell stack that combines hydrogen gas from tanks with oxygen from the air to produce electricity, which powers the electric motor and charges the battery. What this means is the vehicle is actually electric, but you would not need to recharge it like the conventional electric vehicle. All that electric energy will come from the hydrogen cell. Is that not cool? The car has a range of up to 402 miles on a single tank of hydrogen. A technology like this will be a huge upgrade for Lamborghini because a higher range would mean the car gets used more practically. Right now, most high-performance cars are just for show and cannot be used day to day because their fuel efficiency is very low and energy demand is high. The Toyota Mirai is pretty cool, but it lacks what makes the Lamborghini special power. The 2024 Mirai only has 182 horsepower, which is much lower than what the Huracan produces. This is where things get more interesting. Enter the BMW iX5 Hydrogen. This is a concept vehicle that unites BMW's precision engineering and agility with a new drivetrain, hydrogen propulsion. The iX5 Hydrogen offers long distance range capacity, short refueling times, and emission-free driving, pioneering a new path to electromobility. The car is based on the regular BMW Schick C5, but retrofitted with a fuel cell stack, an electric motor and battery, and a new floor to fit its hydrogen tanks. BMW believes both electric and hydrogen-powered vehicles are necessary to combat climate change, with the iX5 a potential precursor to future models. If Lamborghini will be copying any automaker, it would be BMW. The vision of the two companies aligns, and BMW is showing that it can be done. They also have an electric version of this model that produces over 500 horsepower. This charts a path towards an electric future in which hydrogen cell cars are a major player. For now, Lamborghini is focusing on its EV goals, but may accelerate its hydrogen concept if a brand like BMW succeeds in producing high-performance hydrogen cars along its EV models. Don't get excited yet, because the best is yet to come. Do you know there is a hydrogen cell supercar that is more powerful than any Lamborghini? Let me show you. This is the Hyperion XP1. This is the supercar Lamborghini has to beat, or at least get close to. The Hyperion XP1 is everything a supercar should be. We could say it is beyond the supercar level. This is a hypercar. If you think hydrogen cells are not exiting, then this hypercar proves you wrong. It shows that hydrogen cells can indeed be the fuel of the future for high-performance cars, and Lamborghini has definitely taken notice. Can they replicate the performance of this engineering marvel? Let's see how impressive this car is. The Hyperion HP1 is a hydrogen-powered supercar that was developed by Hyperion Motors. The XP1 is claimed to have a top speed of 221 miles per hour and can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 2.2 seconds. The car uses a fuel cell stack to generate electricity, which is stored in a supercapacitor before being sent to the electric drive system. Now this takes us back to the concept car Lamborghini unveiled in 2017, the Lamborghini Terzo Millenio, which we talked about earlier. You can see that this car is also proposed to use supercapacitors instead of conventional batteries. 
This should tell you that Lamborghini is chasing after a performance that matches that of the Hyperion. The XP1 is also equipped with a carbon-titanium monocoque chassis, which contributes to its light weight of less than 2275 pounds. The car has a range of over 1,000 miles before refueling, which is a significant advantage over traditional electric vehicles. This is simply astonishing. The Hyperion proves to be absolutely everything Lamborghini will wish for in their hydrogen model. But there are problems. Could this kill the dream of having a hydrogen cell Lambo? The slow adoption of hydrogen fuel cell cars can be attributed to several key factors such as lack of infrastructure. This is the biggest hurdle. Hydrogen refueling stations are still relatively scarce compared to gas stations, especially outside of specific regions like California and parts of Europe. This limited availability creates range anxiety and hinders convenience for potential buyers. Then there is the issue of cost. Lamborghinis are already super expensive, and this technology would make them even more expensive. Hydrogen cars are significantly more expensive than traditional gasoline vehicles due to the complex fuel cell technology and manufacturing processes. This higher price point puts them out of reach for many consumers. Though hydrogen offers zero emissions at the tailpipe, its production can be energy intensive, especially when relying on fossil fuels. Additionally, storing and transporting hydrogen safely requires specialized infrastructure and adds to the overall cost. For now, Lamborghini is focused on EVs, and for good reasons. Why? The rapid advancements in battery electric vehicles, BEVs, offer a compelling alternative to hydrogen cars. BEVs have seen significant cost reductions, increased range, and faster charging times, making them more practical and affordable for most drivers. Compared to BEVs, hydrogen cars haven't received the same level of government incentives and subsidies in many countries. This lack of policy support makes them less attractive financially for both consumers and manufacturers. Then there is the problem of consumer perception. Public awareness and understanding of hydrogen technology is still limited, leading to hesitation among potential buyers. Concerns about safety, refueling accessibility, and the long-term viability of the technology contribute to this cautious approach. Hopefully, this does not stop Lamborghini from giving us a hydrogen-powered supercar. If you want to stay updated on the latest developments on this subject and more, make sure you subscribe and check the other videos on the channel.